I was once a jester slave from Volantis. I once drowned in a cold sea, but then returned, changed. My painted smile hides the madness of a man touched by death. My riddles echo with strange truths. I now set my sights on the Iron Islands, where the fate of the drowned god rules and the men are of salt and sea. Once laughed at as a mad fool, I will step ashore with riddles, bells and a ragged fleet. The rulers of the Iron Islands must await the fool's gambit. Can the jester from Volantis outwit the reavers and carve his claim? Or will the sea swallow his dreams? Hello everybody, this is Grazo and welcome back to A Game of Thrones here in Crusader Kings. Today we're going to play as Patchface. He is one of the most cryptic and eccentric characters in A Game of Thrones and A Song of Ice and Fire. Uh, known for his unsettling rhymes that sometimes seem to not make sense but also carry hidden truths and uh, hints of maybe future events. Um, some of which in the books has led to people saying that he had predicted the Red Wedding and um, he's just really full of intrigue. He is located in the books in Dragonstone as Stannis's jester. Uh, in this playthrough, I have landed him and I've given him Griffin River. And I've also, because he is a, a drowned god fate, I thought it might be cool if he goes to take some lands in the area where they, they, they follow the drowned god. So I've given him a claim on the Lordship of Lonely Light. He is 14 years old. He is the Drowned God Faith I have mentioned. So he worships the Drowned God and emphasizes violence, seizing lands and possessions to those who do not follow the Drowned God uh, and remaining always close to the sea. This guy potentially has been reborn after being drowned, if you believe that story. And he's originally from Volantine culture, uh, I think based around Volantis, kind of over here in the, in the map. Um, not really a regular starting character, but I thought it might be a fun one to play through. So, who is Patchface? He is content. What he, he what he already has, be it much or little, is enough for him. He frowns at moderation. He wants it all. They kind of, I think, uh, go against each other. Impatient. He thinks that most things should happen fast. Ideally, they should happen now. And he certainly knows how to wrap people around his little finger. He is charming. He is sweet and admirable, uh, which allows him to get away with almost anything. So at the moment, he's 14 years old. I think he would likely be an intrigue character. He is studying intrigue currently. Does he have a ward? No, he doesn't. Uh, maybe we could get a guardian just to, just to kind of boost this a little bit. Um, yeah, let's take somebody with high intrigue. This guy. So starting off, we're going to go ahead and play this as we normally would by filling out our court. Um, we do have some land. Um, we, we started off as King Robert and we landed um, Patchface. We, we will not keep this land. Our primary goal is to take some land in the Iron Islands. Now, Patchface, because of his intrigue and mystery, he actually has a strong hook on Stannis. And I think maybe through marriage... Uh, in the future, we'll get an alliance which will hopefully be enough for us to sail all the way around uh, Dorne and co come up to the Lordship of Lonely Light, which is this little island in the middle of nowhere. I think it fits a, a mysterious character perfectly. Uh, he's going to live out the rest of his days there. So um, that's kind of the, the emphasis of this playthrough. We're going to try and do that. Let's go ahead and fill out our court. A lot of people will not like us because of our drowned god fate, and that's that's okay. We're not here to please people. We're here to have fun. Uh, if you have any theories yourself regarding Patchface, if you have read the books, I'm currently uh, reading uh, the uh, Game of Thrones books right now. I'm on the third book. Um, please do leave them below. I'm, I'm, I'm really interested to learn a little bit more about this character. I haven't seen anybody play as Patchface yet, although I have seen a bunch of requests in the, uh, the uh, Game of Thrones Discord for potentially a landless playthrough of Patchface. So I kind of went around that myself by landing him and then uh, giving him this, this particular storyline. Hopefully you enjoy it. Let's jump in. Uh, we need a Castellan. Uh, I think we'll go with an Intrigue Castellan. Uh, renown Diplomacy. Oh, did we, did we not pick an Intrigue person? 
you know, swap them around. There we go. We want intrigue. Um, great. So that's our court filled out. We have a little bit of income. We have we actually start off with uh, 400 soldiers and five captains. Now, in order for us to wage war, we did uh, modify our contract to have war declaration. So if if I wanted to, in theory, at some point we could go for the Lordship of Lonely Light. Uh, we can't declare war while we're in debt. So maybe let's unpause here for a second and get some cash. Uh, he does not have any custom events. We've kind of just created them ourselves. And because this guy is a little bit unpredictable and a little bit kind of, I don't know. Um, yeah, he, he, he is a jester, of course. Let's go ahead and dye his hair. He like Because his culture is from uh, outside of Westeros, it is time for a new look. And I think... Because we have a, a nice pink badge here, let's go ahead and dye his hair pink. And then say we want more pink. More pinks. And then more pinks. And then let's say pink races. There we go. So this is Patch Face. Let's have a look at him now with his lovely pink hair. Oh, it's absolutely gorgeous. Okay. So we now have some money. And if we wanted to, if we. We would have to fight against the Ironborn because the Lordship of Lonely Light is technically part of the Iron Islands. Okay, so what I'll do here is I'm gonna, um, we're gonna go speed five. We're gonna let some time pass. We'll get Patchface grown up and when he becomes a man, I'll bring you back and see uh, what our next move is. Okay, we're now 16 years old. Uh, we have got Intricate Web Weaver. Um, and we're going to jump down Intrigue. Like, we're not the best character here. We got we got this as well. We got Inquisitive. Um, I think we just stick with Intrigue, to be completely honest. And we just go full-on Intrigue. Skullduggery fo focus. For now. Um, so a few things have happened. We have had uh, Renly assigned to us as our liege. Which isn't a bad thing. There's a hook on Robert here. We can't use it until... Uh, three years actually so that gives us a little bit of time to grow up when we're 19 so we have two options and we can either hopefully marry um, Robert's daughter Maya Stone like if we were to try and marry her now we don't have a hook but I think if we have that hook available we'll be able to lock in this marriage get 18,000 troops and that should be enough I think I hope to defeat the Ironborn but we'll see um, we can end our regency let's do that uh, we're not endorsed by our drowned man. Let's uh, begin to sway him. And uh, honestly, we gotta just save up our money. We're our prowess. We're probably uh, sorry. Our prestige. We need to get into a positive um, amount as well before we declare the war. So it's gonna be a little bit of time. But I'll bring you right back when uh, when we have something interesting pop up. Maybe if we have that wedding or that hook, uh, it might just give us what we need to press our claim. We've had. Um, a guest arrived that is our fate and also our culture she is a pretty good spy spy master so why don't we can we not assign her as our spy master why, why is that maybe i need to recruit her yeah i need to recruit her to court um now she should be available yeah great okay cool so what we'll do is we'll get her to support schemes and because we are going down intrigue now we have we actually have a really good boost to our our uh, scheme potential here i'm going to use it to fabricate hooks uh potentially murder he is a mysterious character he's also possessed and he's a lunatic so he's plagued by hallucinations delusions and disorganized thoughts he struggles to, dis to distinguish between what's real and what's not and that's that's kind of interesting in terms of some of the songs that he sings, some of the kind of uh, non nonsensical uh, rhymes that you hear throughout him, him quoting throughout the, the, the book. They always kind of start with like under the sea. He talks about drowning a lot and uh, he's just he's just full of mystery. This guy uh, possessed the sudden change in emotion, awareness and the ability to, that patch face experiences can only be explained by spirits inhabiting his body. Um, some theories around that in the books as well. Also, there is a Reddit thread that is just 
it's like a rabbit hole for this character but i would i would recommend it if you're interested in patch face to have a read of that uh anyways i'll bring you back when he's a little bit older has a bit more gold and is able to begin scheming we've had an interesting turn of turn of events uh the ironborn have declared war on robert uh robert is shaking not out of fear he is uh, a little bit ill at the moment um so let's have a look it's an independence war i don't think the ironborn have a, a stand a, a chance of winning this so we're just gonna not get involved right now um but there is as always a little bit of dispute in westeros and the ironborn have declared themselves as independent which is that good for me or bad for me um all he has is reavers that's all he's got so let's have a look maybe has, has stannis had a son or a daughter yet no come on stannis oh she's pregnant okay good so let's pin her let's keep a look at uh, lady ina um and when they when they have a kid at least i'll get a an alliance with stannis which would be five thousand soldiers again it's they're not great he's good at heavy infantry but i think i would rather get an alliance with someone a bit more powerful but um yeah i just thought it was interesting that the ironborn were going to going to war with the iron throne and uh we have a little bit of gold it, it is pushing us to get married like if i was to get married right now my best alliance would be three thousand people in pentos it is pentos right yeah i don't want to take that i think there's a couple options like i could i could potentially buy some men at arms myself but i'm going to take advantage of an alliance and go that route so we have been scheming against the reach we have uh a hook potentially on mace tyrell so let's go ahead and execute the scheme it's 83 percent success chance we got a strong hook on the reach okay that's beautiful uh the reason why i picked the reach let me show you normally they are the strongest kingdom if we look at military strength they're normally the strongest okay um so he does have a daughter marjorie of the reach will you marry me she will gets me forty-eight thousand soldiers we now have an alliance with the reach and i think we are about ready to do this war considering that they are fighting against uh, the Iron Throne. So I'm hoping that Mace will, will join us. Um, but what I might do is I'm gonna have to get out of debt before I go, go and press this war. So I'll bring you right back when that happens. Okay, so what we're trying to do here right now, we're trying to sway uh, the Reach, just so when we press her claim that he will actually join us as an ally. We are allied to him, but we gotta get his opinion up. And I noticed uh, we have a hook on Robert and I was looking at the Seven Kingdoms and I see Prince Redmond of the Iron Throne is first in line to succeed. So I'm going to offer to be his guardian and we're going to convert his fate to the Drowned God and we're going to use the hook on Robert. So we're going to have a king that follows the Drowned God, hopefully taken over after Robert. Uh, our, our money is in the, in the gutter. So is our prestige. If I was to pull the trigger on this war right now, just to show you what it looks like. Oh, come on. Zoom in a little bit better. There we go. Um, we can't do it while we're in debt. Okay, just let's do speed five here for just a second. We are making a little bit of money. I think, I think now we can do it technically. Yeah. Um, so 243 people. He's fighting a tyranny war. What happens if he surrenders? Does he get this, uh, deposed? Imprisons him. And then it would go to who next? Goes to Farwin next, and then it starts to go. Okay, okay. Um, I don't think the Reach will will be able to help me in this scenario. If we land here, I don't think we'll have enough men to siege. That's a 282 is the garrison. I mean, there is potential that we could do this right now. There is a little bit of potential, but I would think I, will li I, I would like to have a guaranteed uh, ally join us. 
Can we sway May? Mace. Okay, we swayed him a little bit. I don't think it's going to be enough, though. Because our fame is in the gutter. Let's try one more sway, and then we'll we'll launch an attack with Mace and the Reach landing on the shores of the Lonely Light with Patchface. We fixed our prestige issue. There's going to be a faction that pops off potentially with some populace or peasant rabble. I'm kind of scared of it because all we have is levies. Um, we're still trying to sway Mace. And uh, we, we, we got this with a pop-up, like an event, which was kind of nice. Um, let's just see how this guy's doing over here now. He has alloys, vastly uh, inferior to us. Seven captains. How many captains we got? Five. Is it worth it? Is it worth pulling the trigger here? Uh, not just yet. Let's save up a little bit. I, I, I want to make sure I'm not in debt. We are now married to Marjorie Tyrell, who is a beautiful, quick lady, and I am possessed and a lunatic. It's going to be an interesting combination for, for the kids. Uh, let's go ahead and press our claim here. Uh, let's go to war for the Lordship of Lonely Light. Let's get it, patch face his forever home in the middle of the ocean. And let's call in the Reach Men. We're going to have to fight against the Ironborn. Yeah, I had a feeling. I had a feeling. Let's raise our soldiers and let's head over the yonder. Okay, Aegon is invading. Young Griff. Uh, who's involved in the war? Let's see. Say no. I see no reason to get involved. Let's see how this plays out. Is the Reach still gonna join us? Yes, they are. Let's take the war target. Let's siege the Iron Islands. Let's leave them to their their petty war for the Iron Throne. What we want is salt and sea. And the Lordship of Lonely Light. Let's go for it. Okay. Get over here and siege. Many Ironborn are left. 3,000. Okay. They did win a battle over there. Are they going to the war target? Yes, they are. Okay, we've got to go back. Got to take this back, lads. Follow me. To death. <laughs> uh, interesting stuff. We are, our, our wife is now pregnant. We have taken back the war target, which is good. We need a couple more sieges over here to secure Patchface's uh, beautiful castle. Let me do it quickly. Quickly, please. How long is it going to take? Eight months. Uh-oh. Uh Eighty-seven percent war score. Okay, let's jump in here to help. And uh, we've had a son who is quick and handsome. And his name is Face Patch. Welcome to the family, Face Patch. 90% war score. Can we do it? We do have taken war score as well. One more seed should do it for us. Come on. Beautiful stuff. So let's enforce our demands here. We are now might, mighty lord. We will grant this to somebody else. Uh, we'll grant it to our son, Face Patch. You can. Ah, it's my realm capital. I gotta move my realm capital. We gotta move all of our our court uh, courtly attire, like our fancy dress costumes, our jester outfits, our bells, our whistles, our hats. Let's move them all to. Oh, he's my vassal. Can I revoke his title? Uh, yeah. Let's do this. I kind of want this myself to be quite honest it's probably gonna revolt right I have limited crown authority no way 
Okay, well, we would have to... Um, we would have to get Crown Authority up, but technically, I mean, Patchface has achieved his goal of securing the, the Lordship of Lonely Light. We could continue to play on, get some prestige, and revoke the title, but we're going to leave it there. Uh, hopefully you enjoyed the rise of Lord Patchface of the Lonely Light. He is alloyed to the Reach, and he has a lovely son called Face Patch. Um, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Take care, and as always, enjoy the rest of your day.